morning everybody another day is here they just keep rolling around oh it's early it's early but the sun is up that means we have to be up so i'm here in kenora ontario small town all the way on the western edge of ontario canada right beside my home province of manitoba i'm from southeast manitoba if you're from the u.s that's just above minnesota so from here we're going down to brainerd minnesota six hours south so if you're new hello i'm trucker josh welcome here don't forget to subscribe to my channel and go back to my playlist if you want to catch up. There's a lot to catch up on. <laughs> go to the playlist, you'll see. I've been doing this since like 2011 and this series started in 2014. We make new videos every day on the road and at home. It's not just trucking. So it's, uh, it's, it's a full story of my life. So welcome here, get comfortable, sit down. My videos are usually between 15 to 25 minutes long, though some go longer, some are shorter. You'll see. We'll have a lot of fun here. Welcome to the family. Everybody, go down below to the comment section and welcome them. And if you're new, leave me a comment down below so we can all say hi. So I'm getting loaded. Once I get loaded from here, I'm in a bit of a rush today, but I don't know if it's a necessary rush. So it's Wednesday morning. I have to deliver this tonight, this afternoon in Brainerd. The receiver where I'm going to, they'll receive me as long as I'm there before 10 p.m. So I got plenty of time. There's no doubt I'll get unloaded today. Now my reload, I've got to go for a little bit of a hike after that. I, my reload is in Indiana, northern Indiana, just past Chicago. And they want to load me Friday morning, which is fine. But I want to rush and get there Thursday afternoon and see if they'll load me Thursday afternoon. If the answer is no, that's fine. But we'll see. There it is. Another early Christmas present from Minnesota. From Ontario. Ready to rock. What's going on here? What's going on here? Have that. Have that. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. What is going on here? How dare you show your ankles. All right, there you go. So we're in Sioux Narrows. We just drove over the narrow. The town is called Sioux Narrows. I'm gonna stop at my regular stop here at the convenience store. like if they would walk a little bit further away from the lane but everything turned out okay there right up here this is my regular so I always stop here for coffee every morning I got good coffee and the owner actually he watches some of my videos so if you're watching right now shout out to you and your store I don't know if he watches every one but he came up to me and shook my hand once when I was in there and uh, nice guy Really nice guy. If you guys are driving through here, support his business. It's called The Trading Post right here. Got groceries, meats, bait and tackle. Uh, automotive needs, it's a bakery, a deli, all kinds of stuff. T-shirts, souvenirs. It's a really nice place. Made it here. Got all the bungees off the tarps. I'm gonna take them off now, roll them up, throw them up here with the other one, wait to get unloaded, and then start booking it down towards Indiana. See how far down we can get today yet.
noise. It's only like five o'clock. I still have five hours I can drive today yet. Not bad. This day is just a chugging along. So we have 1,048 kilometers to go to my reload. 620 miles, 630 miles, somewhere in there. Woo, we're gonna try to do about half of that tonight, or just about half today, and then we'll do the rest tomorrow, and then we'll uh, put on our best begging face. And has the please load me. Load me on Thursday, I don't wanna wait till Friday. And if they do, great, if not, well. If we gotta wait till Friday, then we gotta wait till Friday. I just like to get a head start. That's the whole reason of rushing so much today is to get a head start tomorrow. Maybe if the load is ready, load me a day early. Why not load me Thursday? Then you can go home early on Friday, huh? Right, right, long weekend, go home early, work a little bit later on Thursday, but get a longer long weekend. I mean, I think the logic is there. I think I'll be able to convince them if the load is ready. One kilometer, turn left on and at 371 DR. That is a big if. If the load's not ready, well, it's very hard to load freight when it's not ready to get loaded. In 600 meters, turn left on and add 371 DR. All we can do is hope. We're at a quick trip on the north side of St. Cloud. I'm not gonna get fuel here. My price at this fuel station is 340 a gallon. I'm gonna go to Wisconsin and fill up where it's about 316 a gallon. So for now, we're just gonna run in and grab a copy. We'll worry about fueling probably tomorrow. I've got three hours and 54 minutes available to me to drive yet. So being in St. Cloud, we'll make it into Wisconsin. I wonder how far away is Black River Falls. Black River Falls, Wisconsin. Let's see directions. Three and a half hours away. Okay, so we'll make it to Black River Falls at least. Three and a half hours. So that'll be pretty close to the end of my day. Okay, so that's that's our goal for tonight is to make sure the Flying J exit 116, I-94 in Wisconsin, Black River Falls. We'll stop there for our 10 hours and we'll get the rest of the way tomorrow to Bristol, Indiana. That's where we're picking up. I'm still trying to get there before end of day. I'm hoping that they'll load me. We'll, we'll see what happens. I'll call them in the morning and be like, hey. You wanna go home early tomorrow and load me today instead? Come on, who, who could say no to that? That's quite the deal. I know the art of the deal. Shake that guy's hand. He knew how. He knew how to. He knew the assignment. That was perfect. So we're in uh, Minneapolis. Well, St. Paul, Minneapolis, St. Paul, on the east side of the city. So on the St. Paul side, on the construction side. But I, I, I realized that could be any side, all sides. See the highways off to our left over there. See them traveling over there? That's where we want to be. But the construction, we merged onto the highway from 694, and this is where they've got us going. I don't know when they're going to merge us over onto the actual highway. Got two hours and 15 minutes available to me to drive. I'm hoping that'll still get me to Black River. Here it is. Here's a sign that says 
something's happening. I think. Oh, they're coming over here. Oh, we're not going over there. We're coming over here. They're coming in. Oh, I get it. Okay. I think this is it. Hallelujah. Oh yeah, this should be at least 10 miles of no construction now. Awesome. Whoa, that was close. That was close. Maybe they maybe you turn your lights on, bud. That's why many cars already have automatic lights, because people can't bring themselves to remember to turn their lights on. Because the dash lights are on. I don't know, am I alone on this? It might just be me. In Canada we have running lights. So as soon as your vehicle turns on, your lights turn on. But in the US, it's not like that. They can drive down the highway with all their lights off. Wild, right? You can't do that in Canada, it's impossible. All cars sold in Canada have to have running lights. I think newer than 1999 have to have front running lights and newer than 2018 or something have to have both front and rear running lights. So as soon as you turn the key on, lights turn on, or as soon as you put it in gear, lights turn on. Makes sense, I don't know. Not many things up in Canada that make sense, but that's one of them. I don't know. Look at that pickup over there in the left lane, just tailgating. Why is that guy in the left lane anyway? That pickup's got a point. That guy needs to get out of the left lane. I don't get it. Like, people are in the left lane, driving slow, Someone is like six inches from their bumper behind them, a big pickup. Obviously, you can see them right behind you. Does it not cross your mind to like, oh, maybe I should move over and let him pass me? No. Some people that doesn't compute. M NPCs, man. NPCs, non-player characters. I wonder how many people out here are just part of the simulation, you know? They're not real people. They're just computer players. River Falls, Wisconsin. I have 20 minutes left on my clock to drive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly find a parking spot. And call it a night. I think I'm gonna swing into the pumps and wash my window off first. Cause I know I'll forget to do it first thing in the morning even though I'm staring straight at it. On the right side. Karen, you really gotta stop talking over me. One person can talk at a time. Here it is, Flying J. Oh boy, it looks full already. Fantastic. <laughs> Wunderbar. This is great. Yes. You have arrived at your destination. I know, I know. On the right side, Flying J Travel Plaza. Well, this is all paid parking up here anyway, so. Guy parked in the driveway over there, so off to the right. So you'd have to go through the pumps just to get through anyway. And there's a guy parked in front of the pumps here. I don't want to be stuck behind him. And a guy parked there. Oh my goodness, chaos at the Flying J. What's the time here? It's 10 o'clock. Ah, it is pretty late. Shoot. Hopefully, we can find parking. This is crazy. Like that's Flying J on the other side of the street there. Completely full, overflowing. People already parking in spots they shouldn't be. So I came across the street here to Quick Trip. And it's the same thing here. Behind these pumps, there's about 10 parking spots, all full. Over there's McDonald's. Another 10 spots behind McDonald's. Big sign says no overnight parking, but I mean, that hasn't stopped everybody. It's packed full. So I found a spot. I, I made a spot. This is where we're gonna spend the night. If someone tells me to move, I'll move. But I think I'm pretty safe here. I'm out of the way. Drivers can get in the entrance, no problem. I'm off to the side. I'm not blocking the fuel uh, where the fuel truck will 
fill up the underground tanks and I can tell that other trucks have spent the night here before too because there's oil spots all over the place. It's crazy how many trucks leak oil. Knock on wood, my truck doesn't leak a drop of oil and if it did, I'd want to get it fixed immediately. There's so many, everywhere you see trucks. If a truck parks for like more than 10 minutes, it seems there's an oil spot underneath it. You gotta fix your trucks. <laughs> Maintain your trucks, guys. <laughs> so. <laughs> Crazy, right? So, what do you think? What do you think, am I okay? I think I'm okay. I'm tired. It was a full day, about a 600 mile, 600, no, 620 mile day, yeah. 1,000 kilometers. We have about another 600 kilometers or six hours to go tomorrow. That'd be about 350, 360 miles. And we're going to sleep right at the shipper. I don't think I'm going to get there in time for them to load me tomorrow, though, which is unfortunate. I have to be there by 2, two o'clock, I believe, because it takes them about two hours to load the trailer, and they go home at 4. So i got to be there by 2, but they're there till 4. I, I think that's how it works, which is understandable. That makes sense to me. And I'm only going to get there probably around 3 o'clock if I book it and don't stop to pee. Just go, go, go. Just everything on the go. Eat on the go. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I can't. And I'm still going to be late anyway. I'm still only going to get there at 3, probably 3.30. And we've got to go around Chicago. So that's going to add time onto the day. Guaranteed. So I'll call them in the morning. See what they say. Uh, it'll probably be that I sleep right in their yard if I'm allowed to overnight and we'll get loaded first thing in the morning and that load is taking me uh, straight back home to our yard it's about a day and a half drive back home 1500 kilometers or a little under 1200 miles right? no 1500 kilometers is 15 hours 600 but 900 miles but 900 miles sorry my math is off There she sits. I wish I had my own trailer, you know? If I had my own trailer, it would be all nice and shiny, polished. Oh yeah, that'd be sliding tandems. That would make it so much easier. Front axle, I'd be able to split it so I could haul more weight in the US. You're not allowed to have split axles in Manitoba on your trailer though. You are in Ontario. But uh, split axle is when the front axle is further forward. You see, this trailer does slide forward. The front axle does. You see how there's another wheel well up there? That's because this wheel slides forward if you want it to. But we never use it because Manitoba, you can't use it anyway. What that does is you can haul more weight in the U.S. when you have a split axle on your trailer. Right now, my max is 34,000 pounds on those axles. If I move it forward, I'm going to admit... I don't haul split axle, so correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, guys. I believe that if you have a split axle, you can put 40,000, or is that when you have a tri-axle? When you have a tri-axle, you can put 40,000. I'll have to research that for you. I don't know everything. Despite what everybody says about me, I don't know everything. And uh, I, I never haul split axle, so I don't... Now I have something to Google. Maybe we'll talk about it tomorrow. But if I had my own trailer, oh man, that would all be just polished, shiny, just like old blue. Oh, it'd be matching too, matching trailer, matching rims. Yes, it would be beautiful. And it'd have a whole lot more chicken lights on it, I'll tell you what. Six, seven, eight, nine on the back. That is not acceptable. That is not enough. How much do we have on the sides? What do we got here? one it's lame plus the you know the mandatory red one at the back here and the orange one up at the front those are just so i got the bare minimum on this trailer you have to have those three and i'd have one like every oh six inches maybe one little led light oh it'd look pretty it looks so pretty maybe one day i own the truck for those of you who are new it's not my trailer though so i'm contracted uh, so I run my own business. That is my business right there. That is my lifeblood, my bread and butter. My business gets hired to pull these trailers with freight on it. 
Now, I could have my own trailer. I'd get a little bit more of the rate that way. I'd, I'd get, because they take a cut out of the rate, because right, the office staff need to eat too. They need to feed their families. And they do all the work for me. So thank you very much to everyone in the office for doing all the work for me. I appreciate that. But if I had my own trailer, I'd make a little bit more money. I don't know if I would make more in the end, because I might just balance out because of the expenses and the safety and everything, but at least it'd be shiny. I mean, I'd spend all the extra money I make on polishing it, but at least it'd be shiny. But the reason they don't really want me to have my own trailer is because I switch trailers all the time. You realize yesterday I had a different trailer than I have today. This trailer's number 110. The trailer we had yesterday was 130. Maybe, maybe I can talk them into it, but we do a lot of preloading as well, like someone else will go load the trailer for me, and that, that wouldn't work if I had my own trailer, because if I had my own trailer, it would stay married to my truck. No other truck would hook onto my trailer, ever. No one but me, and like, less than five other people. Probably two. Probably like my, maybe nobody. <laughs> nobody else would pull my trailer but me. <laughs> Hey, it'd be so shiny, if anybody's going to damage it, it's going to be me. Another question for you all though, are any of you new subscribers here because of these? Have any of you seen me driving down the road? Did you scan that and find my channel through that? Let me know, because I have no way of finding out the analytics of who all scans that and how many people scan that. So if you found my channel because you saw me driving down the road and you're like, hey, what's that QR code all about? Look at that guy. I wonder what he's all about. So you scanned it and now you're subscribed and hooked? Let me know. So once again, I thank you all for hanging out with me today. Uh, this is a vlog channel. If you're new and you made it all the way here, you're still trying to figure out what's going on. There's a lot to catch up on. I've been making videos for like 13 years. So I don't blame you if you can't catch up on all of them. Though I commend those of you who have, because I know there's some of you who have, right from the beginning watched every single one. I salute you. That is dedication and commitment. That is, that is impressive. But if you want to know more about me, uh, go to the description below all my videos, all kinds of information about me there, who I am, where I'm from, what I do. I film videos here in the truck. Also, when I'm at home, not as often, I need to do more at home. Britt keeps saying I need to film more at home. And I sort of gotten into the trap of like, when I'm at home, I'm on relaxing off time. I don't want to work. I don't want to film and edit. I want to spend time with my boy and with my wife. I don't want to be working. And then I get back on the road and I'm like, shoot, all of those memories are now gone and I didn't film them. Because these vlogs aren't just for you. They are for you. I'm glad you're here. But they're for me too. To look back on in the future. For my kids to look back on. For my grandkids. Maybe my great kids. I don't know. For anybody to look back on in the future. Maybe a thousand years in the future, somebody's gonna find my videos somewhere and they're gonna be able to get a, like a first person view into what life was like for a truck driver in the year, like 2024. I guess we've been filming from 2011 to 2024 now and on. I wanna keep these up throughout my whole life, honestly. I want, I want my whole life documented. I think that'd be pretty cool. I don't know, I don't know. Once, once I die, I mean, I don't know if anyone's going to hold on to them. Maybe my kids and my grandkids will. But after that, like, people are going to be like, we don't even know this guy. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe it'll mean something to somebody. Uh, it'll mean something to me. I'll be watching them. I'll be a ghost ghosting around, watching, <laughs> dreaming about life when I was alive. So thanks for subscribing, everybody. Thanks for hanging out once again. Be safe out there. Drive safe. Use your turn signals. Keep your eyes on the road. Keep your phone out of your hand. And we'll see you tomorrow.